welcome to this dynamic power flow. My name is Jasmine, for those of you that haven't practiced with me before. We are following on with a theme of connecting today. So the theme today is connecting with our surroundings, with our body, with the flow. And yeah, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be quite a powerful sequence. So breathe in that oxygen, take it in now while you can. <laughs> and really prepare yourself for this because it's going to be sweet. <laughs> is knowing when it's your turn to take the modification because we always want to push and we always want to go and we're like yes 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 which is great push yourselves but at the same time when I give that um, alternative pose for you to do listen to your body and take it when it's needed okay so our theme being connecting we live in such a digitally connected world which is great for so many reasons but um, it's really important to know that we need to ground ourselves in the present as well as be connected um, in the digital sphere that is <laughs> our world right now. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna be focusing on today. So if you'd like to come to your mat. I'm gonna start off in child's pose. So take the toes together, generous width in between the knees. Sit the hips back onto the heels, connect your palms with the mat, and then nod the head down. So feel that connection with the body parts that meet and connect with the mat. So the hands spread wide, arms lengthened long. Maybe you want to shift the pelvis side to side slightly just to move through the hips. Maybe you want to take a gentle rock of the head side to side. Massaging that space where we store so much tension. And just encouraging it to dissolve away into the floor. Allow your body to rest still now. And take a deep breath in through the nose and then exhale through the mouth and sigh. And again, deep breath in and then exhale the day. One more deep breath in, fill the lungs and exhale. Sealing the lips, so the lips are closed and we start to breathe nasally, using our deep belly breathing to prepare us for our practice. Nourishing the body, nourishing the cells with each breath. Breathe into the space where the hands meet the floor. into the space where the forehead meets the floor. Breathe into the knees. Breathe into the tops of the feet that merge with the earth. Breathing deep into the belly. Into your root. Connecting and grounding you in the here and now. And take an energizing inhale and prepare to begin to move the body 
On your next in breath, we're going to lift the hips and the head and we're going to push forwards into a cobra. Take a bend to the elbows if the back is still waking up this morning. And then as we exhale, push back into your child's pose. Gently and slowly with each breath. Inhale, snaking forwards. And as you exhale, pushing back. As we start to warm up, see if you can create that ripple effect through the spine. And as we finish that inhale, there's a momentary hold as we lift the chin. Exhale, push the hips back, sink hips to heels. Last time, deep breath coming forwards. Opening through the back body, front body. And exhale, pushing hips to heels. Really walk the fingers forward. This time we lift the palms and we push the fingertips down into the floor. So we activate the arms. See how this changes any sensations in the arms and the back. Active hands. On your next in breath, come to tabletop, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, spread the palms wide. Take three circles in one direction just to warm up the wrists. Quite a lot of weight bearing in our practice today, as with most power practices. Let's change direction, really warming up big circles through hips and wrists. Pausing in the center, take a deep breath in and send your right leg back and flex into the heel. Lengthen behind the back knee, inhale. And then as you exhale, bring the elbow, sorry, the knee to the outside elbow. Deep breath in, we send back. As we exhale, knee to forehead, round. Inhale, send that leg back. As we exhale, we cross, knee to opposite elbow, and then inhale back. As you exhale, send that same knee to the outside elbow. Now we're gonna try with dragonfly today, so let's just prep that. Bend your elbows and see if you can hover that knee as a ledge on the elbow. Send that leg back and rest. That's just a little prep for you. So sending that left leg away, take a deep breath in. And as we exhale, take that knee to the outer left elbow. Inhale, send the leg back. As we exhale, knee to forehead, rounding up. Inhale back. Exhale, twist and cross. Really twist the back. And then inhale, send that leg away. Prep for dragonfly, exhale, left foot comes above left elbow. Bend your arms, see if you can take the body weight forward and hold that foot in the air. Push that leg away, put it down and tuck your toes. We're coming up now to down dog. So hands and feet are shoulder width apart, take time to pedal through your feet. Warming up the metatarsals, warming up the soles of the feet. Any intuitive movement that you need to do to arrive in your downward facing dog this morning. Keep the breath deep and full. Palms spread wide, feet merging down, connecting with the earth. And we'll take a deep bend through the right knee. So really bend that right knee, see if you can straighten off left. You might see if you can encourage a bit of a twist with that. Placing that heel towards the floor, we straighten off both legs. Take a deep bend to your left knee this time. See if you can straighten off the right knee. Exaggerating that twist and that opening through side body and come back to centre. So as we take a twisted down dog, walk your feet in just a few inches. Take your right hand and see if you can touch left shin. 
If you're comfortably at the shin, maybe you want to slide round and reach the inside of left ankle, and maybe you can gaze up and under left arm. We breathe for three. Two. Last breath together here. One, inhale, exhale, release. Hand comes back to the floor. Left hand reaches for right shin. If we've got right shin comfortably, maybe you want to thread that hand around and reach hold of the ankle of the right foot. Maybe you can send the gaze and twist and look up and under the right arm. Hello. <laughs> we breathe for three. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Last time, deep breath. Exhale, release that hand. Come back through to your downward facing dog and just check in with how it feels now. The chest should be feeling more open maybe, maybe more space in the backs of the legs. And we start to walk our feet forwards towards our hands. Coming to the front of our mat, maybe the hands have come higher up the legs now for you to come into your forward fold. Maybe you need more of a bend in the knees. Really try and, try and tuck the chin in towards the chest so we complete the whole of the posterior chain. Inhale, exhale here, head tucks in.
inhale, lengthen. Exhale, heart center. You have one more like this. Inhale, lift. Exhale, forward fold. Nice and warm now. Enjoy each movement. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Bhujangasana, Cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Find your breath, return to your body, connecting with your practice. The last breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, prepare for a step or a jump to the hands. Exhale, over. Inhale, lengthen up high. Exhale, heart center. First flow. We go inhale to lift. Exhale to forward fold. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Bhujangasana. Exhale, Adho Mukhasana. Lifted hips. From here, step your right foot in between your hands. Come to your low lunge. So, right knee is over a right ankle. From here, we're going to take a connection with back ankle and front ankle. If you can, stay lifted up on the fingertips so we're not using the weight of our hands. So from here, take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, connect back ankle with front ankle. Step back to your lunge. From here, come to pyramid. Step your back foot in. We stretch over in pyramid. Now you can come up higher if you need to. From here, find your lunge. Connect back ankle with front ankle. Back to your lunge. Find pyramid. You have one more like this. Lunge. Connect back to front. Pyramid. And hold your pyramid. So for this pose, we have the back foot facing the front short edge of the mat. You can come higher up if you need to. You can take more of a bend in that knee if your hamstrings feel tight. Really nod that head down towards the knee. You have two more breaths in this position. Now, taking right feet fingers behind the big toe to your yogi grip. Back foot meets front foot. We come into a standing forward fold. Peace fingers are around the big toes. Inhale, lift chin, lift chest. Exhale, elbows bend, we forward fold. Nod the head down. Breathing for three. Breathing for two. Breathing for one. On your next inhale, release the feet, reach the arms up and overhead, gaze at thumbs. Exhale, Samasthiti. Let's flow through our leg. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, Down Dog. From here, we take the left foot and we step left foot in between the hands. Coming through to our low lunge. Coming up onto the fingertips, push the pelvis down, extend through back, heel and knee. Take a deep breath in, and on your exhale, back ankle meets front ankle. Send that leg back, and then extend, re reducing the distance between back and front leg, pyramid. Revisit low lunge. Inhale. Exhale, connect back and front ankle. Lunge, pyramid, open up through that front hamstring, last one of these, we find lunge, inhale, exhale, we connect, draw back, 
and let's pause in your pyramid. So you don't want to overextend through that front knee, especially if you're hypermobile in your knees. Make sure the chin is tucking in, but the crown of the head is drawing down. Now this is quite an intense position, so if you're more like here, that's absolutely fine. <laughs> let's breathe for two more here. Drawing that forehead down. Last breath, inhale. Exhale. Take your left hand, your peace fingers, wrap round your big toe. Back foot, steps to front foot. Peace fingers round both big toes. We inhale, lift to your half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Holding for three deep breaths. If you need more of a bend in the knees here, you can take that bend. One last breath. On your next inhale, release the feet, reach the arms up and overhead, palms connect. Exhale, heart center, samasthiti. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold, take up space here. Inhale, heart grows. Exhale, crown falls. We prepare for a jump, high plank. Chaturanga. Cobra. And down dog. Holding here. We take your right foot and we step it in between the hands. So this time we're going to come through to a connect again, but we come to a twisted lunge. So take a deep breath in. Exhale, connect come through to lunge, and then we twist into a low lunge twist, so towards the knee, back down. Inhale, exhale, connect, lunge, and twist. Can you sit up on those fingertips, really lifted? Last, connect. How's that front thigh feeling? And twist, hold here. Hand meets the floor. Really come into this twist now, opening up through side body. Can you take that arm all the way around and lace it behind your mid back? So almost like you're reaching for that right thigh with that hand. Open up. Breathing for three. You have one more breath here. Inhale. Exhale, okay, so your front leg stays where it is. Back knee is going to bend to the outside of the right foot and we come into a twist. Now, if that's completely confused you, you can just have the knees together and twist. But we're in Lord of the Fish. So right knee is bent, bottom leg is tucked in and around. Gaze at that back shoulder, last breath here, inhale. Exhale. Bottom leg stays where it is. Top leg circles around. We come to deer. Dancers among me, among, among me. contemporary dancers are going to hate me. See if you can lift your front leg. Place it down. Lift your side leg. Place it down. Lift and hold. Squeeze the belly. Lift the side. So we know this is deer, but contemporary dancers, you'll know this is fourth position. Ouch. <laughs> Last one, lift and lift. Good, so stay in here for me, take the hands forward of that leg. We're almost in a modified pigeon. Walk the hands forwards, keep up onto the palms, but fingertips are pushing down. See if you can nod the head towards the floor. Breathe in here. One last breath in this position, inhale. Exhale. Start to walk the hands back. Hands come to the front of the mat. We find our plank position. You can either push back to down dog or you can flow through the vinyasa. Inhale, exhale. Holding your down dog for three deep breaths. Really push the heels, grounding them into the earth. You have one last breath here. 
This time you step your left foot in between the hands, up onto those fingertips, take a deep breath in. Back foot meets front foot, we connect, shoot back to your lunge and twist, left arm high, exhale, place down. Back foot to front foot, connect, trace it back and lift, inhale, exhale down. Last time, connect, back foot to front, send it back and twist. Right hand can come down to the floor now. Extend out through that back knee and heel. Can you take that arm back, opening up through the chest, threading that hand behind the waist. See if it can reach in the direction of that front left thigh. And breathe for three. Last breath here together, fill the lungs. Exhale. So you leave the left leg where it is, it stays. Your right leg, your back leg bends in and tucks to the outside. And we come to Lord of the Fish twist. Use that back left hand to support behind the pelvis to help you spiral up, open and around. One last breath here, inhale. Exhale, twist. Release back to the front. Top leg spirals round. We come to staggered deer. Hold the arms out in front of you. Can you lift the front leg? Place it down. Brace the abs, strong core, side leg lifting. And down. How are those glutes feeling? They're okay. Good, lifting up. Squeeze, outside hip working hard. Lift and squeeze. You have just one more front and back. I know that side leg's hard. Place down, lift, and down. Take those hands out in front of you. Can you flex into the feet now? Coming into a variation on pigeon. Walking central to that front leg. Fingertips lifted. Sorry, palms lifted. Fingertips pushing down. Exhale, fold that head towards the floor. Breathing. One last breath here, inhale. And then as you exhale, start to walk your hands back up. Come round to the front of your mat. Find your plank. Find your exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. We're moving into balancing now. So we step right foot in between your hands. Inhale, lift that left foot off the floor. Holding for three. So we've picked the leg up. If you're not too good with balancing, you can keep finger, fingertips, toes on the floor. Pull the belly in, squeeze. Last breath. From here, we're kicking this leg backwards into a warrior three, so it goes directly behind. Palms connect in prayer. We breathe for three, inhale. Exhale, straighten out that supporting leg, flex into back heel, inhale. Exhale, we come back down to that lunge, straight away, step right foot back, bring left foot forwards, on your inhale, we lift into the balance, inhale, lift, I know that was seamless, I can feel it, reaching away with the hands, lifting up with knee, pulling in with belly button, shoulders rolling down, smiles on faces, <laughs> you have one more breath here, inhale, and as you exhale, hands connect, we push that back heel towards the back wall, coming into our warrior three, find your balance, connect with your core here, long spine, pick a point to gaze at and stare at it, it will help you balance, I promise, the last breath here, inhale, exhale, come down, bend supporting leg into your lunge, Step that foot back, right foot comes forward, we lunge. Inhale, lift. Nice, can you open up? So we've extended into a twisted balance. Opening left arm to back wall, we breathe for three. I 
And know this makes it more tricky. You're doing really well. I can feel it. Last breath. From here, come back through to center. Find prayer. Find a very quick and brief warrior three. And then come down into your lunge. Swap legs. Left foot forwards. Inhale, lift. And open up. Right hand to the right side. Stay tall, stay long, breathing with me. Last breath together here, inhale. And then as we exhale, gaze forwards, hands connect. We send that right leg backwards. A very short warrior three coming back down into your lunge. You have one last balance, I promise. <laughs> right foot steps forward. Inhale, energize, lift. Left leg lifted. Choose, stay here or palm connects with foot and we extend. Left arm opening out backwards. Oh yes. <laughs> you have options. Pick one that works for you where you are at in your practice. Last breath. Bend that knee in, hands come to prayer, very short, warrior three. We come down into the lunge. Step back, this is your last balance. Don't be sad about that. Inhale, lift up. Left hand connects with right foot. You choose to stay here. You can just pull that knee in towards the shoulder or you open into a twist. Three breaths. We should be warm now. Last breath together here, inhale. And then exhale, release, bending that knee. Wobbling is fine, we find prayer. We come back into our warrior three. Find your lunge, find your plank. Knees come wide, toes together. Sit back in your child's pose. Just take a moment to find your breath. If you felt like you lost yourself for a moment there, just take a moment to come back. Breathing. We have one last flow before we come to seated. So start to activate the body, tucking the toes under, lift the hips up into the air. We're going to keep the left foot on the floor, but right foot is going to stand on the back of the ankle. So we've connected right toes to left heel. Inhale, find high plank. And then exhale, find down dog. Inhale, find high plank. Exhale, find down dog. Let's do that one last time. Inhale. And then exhale, down dog. Still working with that right leg. It's going to come in front of the left foot. And you're going to twist. Place those hips down. So left leg is bent, foot on the floor. Right leg is straight. From here, we're going to extend up into a wild thing. So you can do that with hips down. Or if you can, lift hips up into wild thing. Now wild thing is big and it's large. <laughs> So open up, breathe into the body. It can be done with the hips on the floor. You can just reach, lengthen. Last breath here, inhale. And then exhale, bring the pelvis down. Keep that knee bending in, we're coming into Mariachina A. Eh? So left hand reaches inside of left knee on the inside, we reach. You're gonna either take a bind and connect hands, or you're gonna hold on to the outside ankle, hold on to big toe, inhale, lift. Exhale, forward fold. Breathing. Three breaths here. Only taking that bind if it's available to you. Last breath, inhale, exhale, 
Activate the body. We're going to come back round to the front of our mat. Find our high plank. Exhale, we flow through Chaturanga. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. This is your last flow before we come all the way to the floor. So stay with me. Right foot stays attached to the floor. Left foot connects toes with heel. Inhale, find high plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, high plank, long spine. Exhale, down dog. Let's take the last one of these. Inhale, come forwards. Exhale, down a facing dog. Still working with that left leg, we take it in front, then we twist through. Flex that foot, place the hips down. Coming into wild thing, you can extend that arm up, or if you can, we take the hips as well. Pushing that foot on the floor, opening through chest, through body, send the hips up, send the head back. Breathe. Last breath together here, inhale. And then exhale, send the hips down. Bend that foot in towards the knees close to the body. Right hand is gonna reach forwards and behind. So you're either holding on to the outside of the ankle or we take a bind, left hand comes behind as well. And then we release that foot. So most of us will just have our hand on the outside ankle and we'll be reaching for that toe. Inhale, lifting the chest long and then exhale. Quite an unusual pose this one. <laughs> Mari Chiasana, so a really good one to put into practice. You like putting the body into awkward positions. <laughs> Last breath together here. And then coming back up, you have one flow to take us down to the floor. So find your plank, find your chaturanga, find cobra, down dog. And then from here, take your knees to the floor, come into a child's pose. Maybe you want to take arms by the sides of the body and just give yourself a moment to breathe. Maybe that means shifting the pelvis side to side. Maybe you want a moment of stillness. Activate the body, bring the hands underneath the shoulders, push the floor away. You've made it to the floor. <laughs> well done. Send the legs out long. And I want you to take the peace fingers behind the big toes again, so we're connecting hands to feet. Now that might mean coming to a bend with the knees, and then what I want you to do when you feel comfortable, you can start to walk the feet away, you can maybe start to shuffle the hips backwards. But whatever happens, I want you to keep that connection with big toes and fingers. There's that sense of a joining there, a relationship between hands and feet. That's going to be pulling the toes up and the feet lifting, meaning that the posterior chain gets that lovely opening sensation. So take a deep breath in here and lift the chest and lengthen. And then as you exhale, feel the heart and the forehead melting on towards or through the knees. As you start to come into this position now we're nice and warm maybe you can start to walk the hips back an inch more maybe you feel the legs open up longer really feeling a sense of the chest melting towards the knees now if that means a much deeper bend in the knees for you please don't worry about that that's just a different look of the pose it's still the pose itself so don't be hard on your body don't be impatient with yourself and then when you're ready we're going to start to walk the hands up come into sitting and we're going to come into balancing so connecting in with our core but we're going to take a variation so lift the heels for me so we've just got the toes touching the floor and we're going to work through with the right leg first so we're going to connect 
hands to sole of the foot. And I want you to pull that knee in towards the armpit. So the knee's drawing in towards the armpit, shoulders are squeezing together. You can choose to stay here. You can choose to start to open up the back of the knee, coming into an opening through that leg. And again, choose to stay here, or if you'd like, you lift that left leg into Navasana, boat pose, pulling in with the core, pulling in with the abdominals, gaze at your big toe and hold for three. Last breath here, long spine. And then placing that left foot down, bending that right knee, maybe giving yourselves a windscreen wiper side to side to release the legs. And breathe. <laughs> Last side. So let's come back into that lifted heel position, so toes touching the floor. And we take the hands and we wrap them and connect them with the left foot. Draw that left knee in towards your armpit. Squeeze shoulder blades together, lengthen up and out from sit bones to crown. And then see if you can lengthen that leg away. Maybe you want to add in the balance of lifting that right foot away. We breathe for three here, so really squeezing in with the abdominals, but lengthening the spine. It's normal to feel that you have more space on one leg than the other. I certainly do. <laughs> Breathing here, drawing that leg close to your body. Last breath, inhale. And then exhale, bending those knees. We're gonna come all the way down onto the floor, but using a lot of abdominal strength. Any history of back pain, you're gonna use your hands to walk down. If your back is strong, we're gonna come through to boat and then slowly for 10 counts, come down to the floor. So we take a moment. I'm gonna start counting 10, <laughs> nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And release. Take the knees into the body, have a gentle rock switching off the back of the pelvis. And just allow the legs to drop over to the right side, take the arms out of the sides. Maybe you want to connect hand to elbow above the head just to intensify that twist. Maybe you want to gaze away from the legs. switched on, we've been very active in this whole practice and now's our time to switch off, to let go. And then slowly drawing the legs back to centre, take the arms wide again and let the knees fall over to the left side. Once again, you can keep the arms out straight or you can connect hands to elbow, just above the head, feeling the shoulder blades sink and merging with the earth, chest open. Breathing, slowing down.
from the moment you go to sleep. And even during your sleep, it's hard at work repairing and restoring vital organs, cells, as the rejuvenation process begins. And it's in these moments of rest really allow our body to repair. So take full advantage of this time to just give in to any sensation, emotion, or thought. slowly starting to activate the body. Begin to send some movement to your fingers, your toes. Maybe you want to stretch your arms overhead and lengthen the backs of the legs into the heels. And when you're ready, turning over onto your right side, resting in the fetal position for a few moments. yourself up into a seated position with me, nice and slowly. We'll take hands through to prayer, taking a moment to connect the palms. Really experience that sensation of touch, palm to palm. Breathe in a fresh life force to the hands. And exhale. Blessings of health and happiness on Shanti Namaste. Namaste everybody. I hope you are feeling energized or maybe exhausted, one of the two right now. <laughs> Uh, that wasn't an easy practice, so well done um, for your efforts because even stepping onto the mat, no matter what you did in that practice, will be amazing for your body, for your mind and soul. So thank you all so much for practicing with me. If you're interested in joining me for my full moon workshop on Thursday, I'm taking a full moon ceremony because it is the full super moon in Scorpio. So it's going to be amazing. It's going to be a really really good session if you're interested in the lunar calendar if you're interested in astrology and releasing things that are not working in your life it's perfect for you so lots of love have a lovely weekend and i will see you all very soon bye